residents only needed to see pieces of it winding its way through the streets to know that something big was coming to Cleveland. But just how big remained to be seen? Well, now it's up and running. And it's clear, even on a not so clear day as today, that green energy has indeed come to Cleveland in a big way, as you're about to see. Wind towers have become a common sight now as we travel America, as our commitment to renewable energy shoots skyward. But the challenge in truly reducing our energy footprint is being able to build and use this wind energy in the most cost-effective and efficient way. Sometimes that can mean the bigger, the better. The savings is much greater if you can consume the power yourself. So in our case, we'll use all of that output all the time, 24-7. So bigger was better in our case. I can't say it's bigger and better if you were putting it in your backyard in your neighborhood, but certainly in our case, in this, in this industrial setting, it was the right thing to do. As the world's leading manufacturer of welding and cutting solutions, Lincoln Electric has been involved in the wind energy industry from the very beginning and knows all about the importance of welding when it comes to energy. From hydroelectric plants to pipelines to wind towers, nearly every energy project involves welding in its formation and Lincoln Electric has been at the forefront of such projects for nearly a century. Well, we're the largest welding company in the world, uh, but more importantly than being the largest welding company in the world, we have over 500 engineers around the world that are driving solutions, technical welding solutions with various customers all over the world every day. So uh, we certainly appreciate our position in the industry, but we're more excited about what we accomplish each day with our customers and what we believe we can continue to do for the industry longer term. In essence, it's all about the process of cutting and joining metal to create the main can sections for giant wind turbines and other edifices of energy that generate power. With 45 manufacturing facilities in 19 countries, including this 1.6 million square foot plant in Euclid, Ohio, Lincoln Electric develops the newest technologies in welding power sources and consumables to help customers take raw steel that's then rolled into cylinders and welded together to create the components of a wind tower. Many of the advanced robotics and newer inverter-based power sources also help Lincoln's customers reduce their energy consumption versus traditional welding power sources. Our older machines might have been 350 pounds and 70% efficient, which means that 30% were losses due to heat. This automation cell is much more productive. It uses welding technology that's 90% power efficiency and about a third of the size in terms of internal components. Lincoln Electric doesn't just manufacture the world-class products that go into global welding products. They also help educate the welders of today and tomorrow with the oldest welding school in the USA. Lincoln Electric has been training welders since 1917 for a wide variety of applications, including those in the energy sector, and passes more than 1,000 students through their program every year. And these welding students represent both end users and Lincoln Electric employees themselves. And for many, many years here at Lincoln Electric, we've hired young engineers, placed them into a trainee class and focused with them for 10 or 12 months, developing their skills so that they'll understand where we believe welding needs to go in our industry and so that they can be a catalyst for that longer term. And uh, it's that long-term commitment and that expectation and passion around welding that makes everyone at Lincoln a welder. We talk about welding as being the lifeblood of what we do. All the professional people, or most of the professional people, certainly with an engineering background, go to welding school. We offer welding school to every employee free of charge because we think that it's an important part of what they need to know about what it is that they make, what it is that they service and support, and what it is that we do for, our, for the industry that we work in. Today, Lincoln Electric's commitment to leverage renewable energy is stronger than ever and is evident in the very skyline above its headquarters. Rising 443 feet from base to blade, the Lincoln Electric Wind Tower represents the culmination of what can be done with new wind technology and expertise in welding solutions. It's the largest urban wind tower in the United States. And we have many individuals that come into Cleveland that see it and want to talk about it and think about Lincoln Electric. 
So it's a great example of our commitment to sustainability around the world. You can't go anywhere in this city without, if you have a Lincoln Electric shirt on, somebody's going to ask you about the wind turbine. Of course, the residents of Cleveland and Euclid, Ohio, already knew that something big was about to happen when the larger-than-life steel components of the wind tower first started rolling into town. Oh yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely a show. Uh, there were a lot of people along the way stopping, watching. These really long pieces of equipment, the, the blades themselves were 160 feet long, so you can imagine uh, the size of a tractor trailer, you know, 170, 180 feet long, driving these blades through town. The pieces couldn't come down the freeway for bridge height, and they couldn't go directly through the neighborhood. So we went out and measured about 80 underpasses to find a successful route to get just from the port. As an energy infrastructure project that took over two years, 220 tons of steel, over 1,000 bolts, and 7,000 hours of welding and construction labor, the Lincoln Electric Wind Tower today is the largest known urban wind tower in North America and a source of power for the world's largest welding manufacturing facility that sits below it. Pumping out over two and a half megawatts of electricity, 10% of the energy needed to power this giant facility, which is over 28 football fields. You'd be hard to find something similar to this to a company our size getting that much power from renewable. So we're getting five to six million kilowatt hours a year out of the machine. At the same time, from a CO2 footprint, we're reducing our CO2 emissions by about six million pounds a year. We are very much in the entire value chain relative to energy and energy development. But as we continue to develop technologies, we can assist the advancement of sustainable energy globally because lowering those costs, improving those processes, will allow sustainable energy to grow within the energy footprint around the world. With over a century of experience in welding, the wind tower is not only a symbol of Lincoln Electric's commitment to wind tower construction, it's also a symbol of Lincoln's commitment to renewable energy.